Born in 1819, Julia Ward Howe was an American author and poet known for writing the 1870 Pacifist Mother's Day Proclamation, but perhaps best known for penning some of the most inspirational words ever written. In November of 1861, as a seven-month-old civil war became longer and deadlier than expected, Howe was moved to write the Battle Hymn of the Republic. The hymn relates a biblically heroic story of Union soldiers marching to their death to vanquish slavery. As he died to make men holy, let us die to make men free. His truth is marching on. The glory, glory, hallelujah chorus of the battle hymn is one of the most familiar refrains around the globe. Often dismissed or overlooked, the impassioned Christian call to arms represents America's fight song, inspiring American spiritual resolve and sacrifice. The famous second line, he is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored, suggests divine justice inspired by the book of Revelation. Author John Steinbeck, moved by Howe's words, named his 1939 American epic novel, The Grapes of Wrath. For more than a century and a half, the hymn has been embraced by soldiers and loved by Americans, renowned performers and world leaders. Prime Minister Winston Churchill and President Ronald Reagan held deep regard for the song. From the compelling Mormon Tabernacle Choir version, to Elvis Presley's performance closing number, to Whitney Houston's stirring rendition, the Battle Hymn of the Republic has transcended American generations as America's hymn. The soul-stirring words of Julia Ward Howe live on in the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Proclaiming the Fortitude of the American Spirit 